I like to number my equations, 1, 2, and 3, so I can kind of talk about them in terms of those numbers. So uh, I also like to establish early on what variable I'm going to get rid of. And I like to, I like to not deal with multiplying by negatives as much as I can. So I'm going to go with the y value here because it's negative and these are both positive. You could also get rid of x and just multiply each equation by 2 and then 3 or negative 2 and 3. Here all I have to do is multiply this equation here by 2 and it will cancel with equation 1. So I write out equation 1 as I see it. x plus 2y plus 5z equals negative 1. If I distribute the 2, I got a 4x minus 2y plus 2z equals 4. Be careful that you're multiplying by both sides. Make sure that's a 4 and you don't just kind of leave it as a 2. Combining like terms, you get a 5x. These are gone as we had hoped. Plus 7z equals 3. Okay. So I'm going to call that equation 4. You got 1 through 3 and now you got equation 4. <coughs> now, the way it's set up, conveniently enough, I'm going to use equation 3 as is, but I need to alter equation 2 again. Okay, I've already used 1 and 2. Now I'm going to use 2 and 3. But instead of a 2 this time, I want to cancel the same y variable. So I need another variable. This is equation 4. I need an equation 5 that still has just x and z. So I'm going to get rid of y again, but this time I'll have to multiply it by 4. Okay, So 4 distributed, and I'm going to put it right down underneath because that's convenient. 8x plus 4y uh, plus 4z bonus equals 8. Look what happens there. It's great. We just tried to get rid of, oh, this is a minus, by the way. We tried to get rid of y, <coughs> and the byproduct of that was that we got rid of z as well. Again, it's great if it works out that way. You can't always plan it. So that's 11x, and then this would be 22. Okay, you divide by 11. Um, technically, I guess this would be equation 5, but the nice thing is equation 5 gives you the x value, x equals 2. Because we have that equation, we can go back and plug 2 in there. We've got a 5 times 2 then, plus 7z equals 3. Um, that's a 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. And you're going to find that z, or 7z, equals negative 7. Divide by 7, you get z equals negative 1. You've got negative 1 here, you got 2 there. We still need to solve for y, and you can do it for any of the equations. I'm going to go to the top just because they're nicer and easy numbers. I got 2 plus 2y, two which we're looking for, plus 5 times negative 1 equals negative 1. Okay. Uh, combining like terms, 5 minus negative 1 is a negative 5. So if I come over here where I've got some room, 2y <coughs> minus 3, 2 minus 5, uh, equals negative 1. Add 3 to both sides. 2y equals 2, divide by 2, and I get uh, y equals 1. So the answer is 2, comma 1, comma negative 1. Bada bang. Just uh, <coughs> the next one's going to be kind of like that, but you need to, I won't do the whole thing. Anna charges 15 per hour to tutor geometry and 10 per hour to tutor biology. She tutors a total of 14 hours. Geometry plus biology equals 14. And earns 170 bucks. That means the per hour thing. So 15G plus 10B equals 17D. All right. Multiply by probably negative 10, and you can kind of solve for both of those there. Okay. Enjoy.